If you do go on to enjoy today's video, please remember to hit that like button and of course subscribe for more content. And if you need any coins for Ultimate Team to get a head start on the game, head to the link in the description. Use the code TVM for a discount at checkout. What is going on guys, Steven here, welcome back to a brand new video and I wouldn't say the last base card I'll be reviewing for a while but I'm going to try and do quite a few more Team of the Weeks and of course there will be some rule breakers when the new batch drops on Friday. I'm really hoping that the new batch that they drop on Friday have a better drop rate because I've not seen one single rule breaker packed. I don't even know what the flare looks like. Like I've okay, I've not actively gone out and searched it, but I've not seen any on my timeline on Twitter. I've not packed them myself. I've opened a 100k pack and I've opened loads of other packs and rewards that we had, of course. I've not packed any of them. So I don't know what they look like. I'm hoping the drop rate is better and we will look at some of those rule breakers and of course team of the week drops later today and it looks to be a bit of a spicy one so we'll see if we can bring some team of the week reviews to the channel uh, with some degree of consistency. For right now though we are probably looking at one of the if not the best right back in the Premier League right now in terms of FIFA and that is going to be Nelson Semedo. I was lucky enough to pack him. He is tradable but I need him right now to link my Ronaldo. Uh, not that Ronaldo's on full chem or anything, but it just gives him some degree of chemistry. And that is all that I really need. Four-star skills, three-star weak foot, high defensive work rate, which this year is absolutely fantastic as I tell my fullbacks to stay back while attacking. Last year, I had, what was it? Some like overlap as well as stay back while attacking, I think it was. And you know, that's seem to work quite well and sometimes you just put them on full overload and you didn't get caught out in behind that often last year because of course the counter attack wasn't really well it was a thing but it was nowhere near as common as it is in this FIFA everybody uses counter attack whether you try to or not it's just a thing that happens he does have a ones to watch of course which is a very expensive 100k card there are thereabouts right now uh, the base card is between 20 and 30 thousand coins which for arguably the best fullback in the Premier League is not bad at all great pace really good stamina so he's able to stay on the pitch the entire time we've already talked about the the work rates which are really good he's got great agility and balance only rivaled by Aaron Wan-Bissaka he's got decent defensive stats as well not fantastic but you can improve them the anchor chem style for me is probably the best one and I don't have it on him why I don't know really I I, I didn't really plan on keeping him that's the team I've, I've got on the, the team I ran for weekend league uh, we finished a uh, spoiler alert for the road to glory that but if you haven't seen it from yesterday we finished 14 and 4 uh, I could have kept going, but with the amount of rivals games that we have to play on Thursday now, it just sort of, I no, I don't, I don't really fancy doing 30 games of rivals and then 30 games of champs in four days. It's just too much. It's ridiculous. So uh, until EA change their system, whether it be get rid of the 30 games in rivals or whether they change the rival date or whether they extend weekend league permanently, uh, I, I'm just going to be playing to rank one because it's better rewards and I will be playing to goal three consistently every week but to talk about Semedo this guy at the back is 100% reliable and right now regardless of who he faces he's quick enough to keep up with them he's good enough to defend he can recover well and I've not had one single issue with him the entire weekend my uh, my left back is actually Trent Alexander-Arnold now of course he is primarily a right back, but I'm having to play him out of position right now because it's either him or it's uh, play Chilwell there. Now, I don't mind Chilwell. I actually quite like him. But uh, Trent is playing out of position because A, I'm a Liverpool fan and B, I'm a Liverpool fan. So I kind of have to play Trent where possible. Didn't really fancy playing Semedo out of position. So we are where we are. Although thinking about it, I could probably get Ronaldo on full chem if I did that. I might even look into that. I don't know. Maybe someone suggested it and I've just missed it in the comments. Semedo is, in my opinion, he's better than Trent for this game. I think he you need him. Uh, this type of card anyway you don't need him specifically but you need this type of card you need someone with pace and for the most part obviously depending on how you play you need someone who's got that high defensive work rate in the fullback position this year because high attacking work rate fullbacks are very very common it's not something I want it's not something I need anywhere near my starting 11 I need a player who is not going to venture forward. How has Mbappe missed that? I need a player who is going to stay back and make sure that he covers any open space that may um, that may develop. 
He got a bit of lucky, a bit of lucky. He got a bit of luck there uh, and got away with it. But there, Galera just stands him up. Doesn't matter how quick the player is, how many step overs he does, it doesn't make a blind bit of difference. He wins the ball back, and then Ronaldo gets to play it across. And we probably should have uh, made more of an, uh, um, taken more of advantage of that. I don't know why I'm struggling to speak today. Uh, I have, I've been awake for a little while. I don't know what's going on. Anyway. He, he often starts moves, as you can see there. I've showed you the goal. Why? Because Semedo started the move. And that is a very common thing this year. It's not necessarily um, limited to Semedo, but it's a common thing for fullbacks to get the ball moving up the, up the pitch this year. Balls up the line from your fullback, very, very important. And as you can see there, now we're off. Diogo Jota plays it forward, and all of a sudden we're into attack. That's how you counter-attack this year. As you can see, we're quite wide. Nelson Semedo picks it up just on the stroke of the, um, the halfway line. He's looking, he can't play it forward, he has to go back, and all of a sudden we've got a gap in the middle, and now we can start to exploit it and move the ball around. And it all comes from fullback, so it's not just Semedo, just a little tip within the review, I guess. Look for your fullback, and then look to play it up the line, and then that will create the space to get in behind, especially if you have a player, not necessarily like Ronaldo, but if you have a fast winger, you can send him on a run and play the ball around the outside. Hard through balls, uh, use the R1 or RB to sort of curve the ball, if you will. And that will play the ball around the defender trying to mark the space. He clears the ball off the line here. Look how good he is now. Comes out from that uh, that goal line. I'm not controlling him, and he gets a block in for the cross, which could have ended up in, in a goal. So he does his job very, very well. In terms of negatives, to be honest, there aren't that many. There are maybe four worth a little mention, two of which are passing related. Don't try ridiculous long passes. It ain't gonna work. Just try and keep it simple, try and keep it close, and try and keep it facing the way that he is facing. Uh, little short passes you can get away with, but anything more adventurous, unfortunately, not great. He's not very good in the air, so from corners, for example, that's why he's on the line, because he can't uh, compete with anyone else in terms of heading the ball. His jumping is 89 with an anchor chem style, but his heading is only 63, and he's five foot ten. So if you're up against Harry Kane's, um, rule breaker card, not that I've seen any in any squad any, anyway, but if you're against someone who can head the ball, you're in trouble. Uh, so that's going to be definitely a negative. The strength is not ideal with the anchor, takes him up to 76, and his pace will often win you the battle. But again, don't be surprised to see him just lose out in the strength battle. And then, of course, this composure. When you're being pressured by an attacker, you have to try and get that ball away quickly. I wouldn't necessarily try and be... Uh, cute with it, I'd sometimes just whack it up the field because his composure won't be able to handle it. But, I mean, overall, for 20, 30k right now, I would I would say that he's probably the best fullback in the Premier League in terms of options. Will that be the same in two or three weeks' time when we get informs and special cards? Probably not, but for right now, I really, really like him. Works for my team. If you've got a Premier League team that he'll work, I think he would be a very good purchase for you. If you have enjoyed this play review, do me a favour and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye. Join the Betting Rebellion and find out what your football knowledge is really worth.